Hello everyone and welcome to my reading journal setup. Before I really show you this one, let me show you what I thought I was going to use last year. Welcome to a book related video or a reading related video. We are going to be talking about my new purchase. Not a big one, nothing crazy, but I decided to get a reading journal. Why? Because I have exceeded my reading goal for the year, which all of you know at this point, but I have decided that a reading journal would really help with the amount of series that I have started throughout this year. I have a few of them that I did complete, but I have more that are incomplete. So I find that it would make the most sense for me to just go ahead and prepare these journal entries to help keep everything very fresh and very current in my mind and really get my thoughts out on paper. I do have these small review sticky notes for book reviews, but it's just for like one liners and the star rating. And I like how the layout of this particular reading journal flows. The colorway, not my favorite on the inside, but the exterior I like. So I've taken the wrapper off already. We don't need to struggle through taking off that plastic, but here's how it looks outside of the plastic. This is from Regolden or Regolden book, Understand You More. It holds 80 entries. It also has a pocket, a reading list, pen loop. It has a reading tracker and reading templates. I love black and gold together. To me, it just makes sense all the time. And on the inside, this is what I was saying about the colorway. Like, look at that. That shadow, that shadow you're seeing is my mic. So disregard. But I feel like a kid. I feel like a child with this polka dot business. But anyway, it's here. It also looks like someone has turned these pages aggressively before I even opened it. So I'm not really sure what was going on back at the factory. But anyway, I already have something on it. My own doing, no one else's. It gives you a quick snapshot of the books and how you're rating them throughout this year. For me, this is more than enough for one year. I don't believe that I will exceed 80 books by the end of the year. I'm hoping it's just right there in that ballpark. You do have a reading list, which is cute if I was sticking to my goal, but this is only one page and I would need more than that. The reading tracker, this is a good way of seeing how many books you've read throughout the month or each month. And it also lets you know your high points and low points, which for some might be hard to gauge because some books are shorter than others. Some books are more detailed than others. Some books are more mess and stress than they are intellectual reflective reading. So you might have a slower month, but the book might be bigger. You might have a month where you read 12 books, but they're all 88 pages. Like there's a difference. We are now taking a look at the reading journal entry area itself. You can put the start date and finish date. If you're one to read within 24 hours, you can put the start time and finish time, title, author, genre, length, themes, and recommended by. I like the recommended by. More often than not, my books are recommended through Amazon or TikTok. I am not really into Bookstagram or Booktube. There are a few people, but not that many. More often than not, I'm getting my recommendations from TikTok. We also have book or audiobook. You can even put ebook instead of a physical book. The rating, enjoyment, and ease of reading, I find that to be a nice touch because just because you rated a book a three does not mean that your enjoyment is a three. You could have thoroughly enjoyed this book by maybe four or five, but you gave it a rating of three because of maybe it needed to be heavily edited. Or maybe one of the characters was just miserable. They were insufferable. They were aggravating. 
they were annoying. Didn't take away from your enjoyment of the book to the point where it got a DNF. And ease of the book. Was it a 500 page book, but it flowed like you're watching a one hour long movie? I mean, you know, do your thing, rate how you rate. The overall impressions, main take and thoughts. I'm, maybe I'm overthinking, which normally I am, but I feel like those are the same. My overall, because I'm not gonna rewrite the book, right? I'm not rewriting the book. So why is my overall impression not also my thought on the book? And my main take, why would I need this much space for my main take. If I'm talking about the book Moth to a Flame, my main takeaway was that it's action packed and I am speechless about the ending. Overall impressions, it's action packed and I was speechless about the ending. Raven was aggravating. Ethic has been that man from the beginning. I don't know. I just feel like those would still be my thoughts. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to work my way through those areas. I'm not really sure how I'm going to sort that out. But memorable quotes, I do like that section. It also has a bullet journal feel to it. Um, because I do see dots here. I can find a quote in every book. Every book I read, I can find a quote. So that's nice too. Notes and actions. I'm not really sure what my actions would be. I don't know. And notes, are they not my thoughts? We're back in 2024 and I can finally show you what my reading journal looks like. The bare bones. I might show you a few clips of what the layouts, formats, designs will look like, but I genuinely do not know. As I'm doing this recording, I'm still feeling my way through it. So you'll definitely see it in the quarterly reading wrap up when I can spill my guts to you about all the books I've read so far. So here we go. I've heard it all Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should have listened when they said that you Would treat me like he did mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it all Situation makes me feel I'm not a man at all Swore I'd be there, swore that I'd catch you you can give me a side eye later but for now let's work through what we have here first there is a box to the right we'll get into that but I found an eraser that I randomly purchased when I was in my bullet journal phase and I never opened it. So I feel like I might use it for this. I don't know yet. I ordered these gel pens thinking I'm going to be this creative reading journal person. Whole time I have no idea what kind of reading journalist I'm about to be. But because I have black pages, I need to be able to use an ink that will work. And it just so happens it's gonna be gel. And the more that I think about it, this is far more childish to me, to me, far more childish than the reading journal that I didn't use last year. So anyway, just go with me. We are currently in the new package. This is like a glue tape, double-sided situation. I've used it since the filming of this video. I like it. I had the bright idea of getting these brass vintage scissors. They're beautiful, sharp, and lovely. I don't have anything else to say about them. They're beautiful. The packaging makes me feel like I wasn't supposed to get this because why are you wide open? Anyway, lovely nonetheless, very heavy for such a little item. And lastly, because I couldn't help myself and I should have, this is a photo printer. This is a printer. I got a printer for my reading journal. Am I okay? No, no, I'm not. But here we are. This is the Kodak photo printer. Now, what I will say, if no one else has told you, these do not print with adhesive on the back. 
So that's why I got the Tombow glue tape. All the reviews that I've been seeing from people that look like me, they said that this is the one to go with because it prints color that we would use because our books have black people on the cover. It will bring out the color a lot better than some of the other photo printers. So that's why I got this one. just want to have something nice why is it I had to return it because it wouldn't print anything so I got a new one it started printing which halted the video because I had to wait on the new one and maybe I messed up a few of them because I was so excited to use it that I wasn't really paying attention to what I was printing but anyway you'll see that in the quarterly as for what I already have I'm thinking on the left hand side I want all the 24 books that I want to read in the year I want a picture of them here and I like the ripped page look I really do the rating system I'm not a serious person all the time so my rating system fits me. I also have to get in the habit of understanding gel ink is not quick drying ink. I need to give it time. You can tell by the Purple Heart I did not give it time. I wanted to do a deep dive for two particular authors because I've read quite a few of their works already and I don't have that many more books to purchase in order to complete their entire backlist. So I chose Sean and Kasha Thompson. Sean is great. Sean is great. Kasha Thompson's great. If you haven't read any of their their books, I encourage you to read them. Sean has some spice, definitely. Kasha Thompson has the rom com. Here I have my reading at a glance. I kind of like this, but I kind of don't. I'm feeling my way through it, honestly. This is kind of a sneak peek on how it's going to look. Um, I saw someone that's way more artsy and creative in their reading journal. They had a layout just like this. She had drawings and different fonts. I don't want all of that. I just want book, my emotions, a message to the author, and move on to the next thing. So I said all that to say thank you to that person for creating that format. I really appreciate it. Here's my pen test. I got excited when I got my gel pens. That is a Libra constellation, by the way. Not me saying it's a Libra constellation like I can educate anybody on constellations. I just wanted to try out the different pen colors. That's all. Anyway, in the back, I do have some printouts from the photo printer and I haven't decided where they're going to go for the larger ones because those are books that I read last year and I also have a few that I printed for this reading year but they got cut off so I'm going to use them in another way. Anyway I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for you to see all of the books that I read for the first quarter and I will see you in the next one. Bye!